Hi, I'm Ian Lawrence Kerr, and this is a talk in a series on how to read hands working from the four hand types earth, air, fire, and water. In this video, I'm going to concentrate on the air hand, which is made up of a square palm with long fingers. A square palm is as long as it is wide. You can measure the width of a palm by measuring from the outside of the bottom of the little finger to the outer side of the palm which extends from the index finger. The length of a palm is measured from the bottom of the middle finger to the bottom of the palm which is indicated by a crease at the wrist. So if a palm is as wide as it is long it's called a square palm. Long fingers are not so easy to define. However, if you start looking at people's hands, you'll soon get some idea of whether the person's fingers are short or long or somewhere in between. An air hand is the hand of a communicator. This doesn't mean you're not a communicator if you don't have an air hand, but rather the owner of an air hand has a particular strength in communicating and dislikes communications which are clumsy or ambiguous. They're good at being exact in what they say. Air types, however, can sometimes get carried away with being too precise in getting communications right and can also divert off into an interest in airy-fairy notions that to others are not worth worrying about. To the practical earth type of person, for example, the air type spends too much time thinking about the what ifs and maybes when the earth type will just have got on and done it. The positive side to this though, is that the air type is also good at attending to details. And sometimes details need to be attended to. And because they find interest in attending to details, they are capable of great patience in achieving an outcome. The owner of an air hand is like the air. They like to be free. They like to move around. And they can find themselves moving around in life in many respects, including where they live and what job they're doing. My suggestion is now for you to try to find someone with an air hand and present them with these ideas. You will probably find them being quite analytical in the way in which they respond to you. If you've enjoyed this talk on palmistry, please check out my Facebook page, Ian Lawrence Kerr Palmistry, and also my other videos on earth, fire, and water hand types.